Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Yes, I actually didn't even hesitate when I said that. That's very bizarre that I actually know what day it is. I guess it makes sense because it's the one day I really let myself sleep in. Uh, I'm actually drinking out of a cup. I think I told you guys, remember one of the biggest um, lessons that I've learned, a couple tendencies of mine that work against me. One, staying hydrated, um, which of course could probably also be due to the fact that all the dental work I had done last year clearly was, I, I just wonder if there's a dentist that actually is reliable because since I've graduated from college and moved to Chicago, I have had four different dentists work on my mouth and every time after their work is done or part of their work is done, I end up having issues. I've had a root canal redone, one root canal, four different dentists. And every dentist, you know, when I have to go in with either pain or whatever, and now the whole cap has come off, um, you know, they're all like, oh, the last guy did it. You know, I'm like, how is the consumer supposed to know whether you're a reliable dentist or not? This last dentist that I went to, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. You guys remember? I was talking about it last summer. And half the stuff they did is not finished. And now I have this delayed situation of four months or so later, random days of like, oh, teeth sensitivity. I just drank some water, room temperature water, I might add, teeth sensitivity, and it'll float throughout my mouth. So I'm definitely starting the um, oil pulling thing again. Um, but I, now I need to find another dentist. <sighs> but back to the hydration thing. Hydration is definitely something um, it's easy for me to not do. Um, sometimes I'm good about drinking water during the day, you know, focusing on, you know, I kind of let myself earn my Diet Cokes by drinking water. Good idea. I'm not going to stop drinking Diet Coke, people. Get over it. Um, but um, I can definitely, remember I've told you I've had problems and then I'll be, you know, working out whether it's running or whatever and I get if I don't hydrate enough, I'm getting like ridiculous stomach cramping. So, by the way, isn't this the coolest shirt? Can you see? It says I Love Fitness. It's Reebok. You can get it on their website. Uh, so anyway, hydration is uh, the number, probably one of, I'd say I'm tied for two. Two things that I have to watch out my bad habits. Oh, sorry, I just did, which I'm gonna get to in a second, I just did um, some cardio and um, chest, chest, shoulders, and back, chest, back, and shoulders. So forgive me that the flex is, and I also really need to go tanning. <sighs> I've got tanning, it's just not showing up here. It's making me look very pasty. Um, anyway, but my other um, tendency is, let's see, hydration, and then just um, eating, which is funny because you know, um, I'm, I'm realizing as I've gotten older that, you know, I think it's a tendency, a natural tendency for women in particular. I'm sure that there are plenty of men that have the same issue, but it can be a misinformed tendency um, that we think if we have fat to lose, which most of us do in some degree, okay, depending on your fitness goals, but most people have some fat to lose, even to just get in a healthier state of mind, uh, state of being, I'm not making any sense. Um, uh, hold on. I started to lose my train of thought. If you have uh, fat to lose, it tends to be a train of thought that, oh, always eating as little as possible is the answer. And I'm really learning more and more just Random stuff has happened. I talked about it in my last video, but also, you know, like an article might come out and I read it and I'm like, you know, everything is pointing to the same thing. Or I'll talk with, um, you know, Dr. Vic. And I remember one of the first things he said to me, one of the first things Dr. Mike said to me was, you know, you train so hard, but you're not, eat, you know, observing what I know or what these people know about me. It's not like I post my food. It's definitely a problem, or my problem is not really eating junk food. Or going out and binging, that certainly was something I had when I was younger. Um, my problem tends to be kind of getting wrapped up in work and craziness and then limiting myself to, in the past, I've limited myself to only, you know, certain allowed things. You know, you can get on a certain 
very strict diet. And then if you get bored with it, again, this is my experience, people. If you get bored with the same things. I love turkey meatloaf, but sometimes if I open my fridge and that's really all I've been having, I'm like, and my problem will be, if I don't have enough variety, I, I look at the food in my fridge and I'm like, oh, I don't want it, I don't want it. And what'll happen is I don't eat. And I'm not trying to starve myself. I'm not trying to just not eat. I'm not doing anything like that. It's more a, I don't even know what, what I'm trying to say. It's not even, it, it, I could say it's a convenience thing, but in the past, I've seen that that's been an issue that's kept me from eating enough. And what I said in my last video is the past four weeks or so, ever since I had the stomach flu, and I just started eating to, I don't know, more respond to what I felt my body needed. Like, hey, I'm not, I haven't been well, you know, what is my body, my body's feeling like it needs something substantial. Like, you know, in the beginning it was just soft, neutral foods, like bread and plain cream cheese. And then it was like, wow, I needed some beef. I finally was able to eat beef. Yesterday I went out for a lunch meeting with Amy and I was, I had sushi, so I was okay with it. But it took a while to get that way. And as I talked about in my last video, it was surprising to me that the past four weeks I was so not focused on my diet, which is, you know, what I was, I can't, it's not in here, you know, my sheet that was like, have this for breakfast, have this, you know, I wasn't focused on this, I wasn't focused on my specific six meals, I wasn't focused on, has to be this amount of protein, this amount of vegetables, you know, I was just eating what I felt like my body needed, and definitely, in there, there were um, a cheeseburger here and there, there were some french fries, there was definitely some, you know, junk food in there. Not that I'm an advocate of going out and eating junk food to get healthy. I'm making the big picture point of first four weeks of the year, till I got sick, I was so stressed, so focused, and so on my diet, and I wasn't, you know, I knew that I had to commit to a long period of time to see the results, but I wasn't really looking in the mirror going, okay, you know, this is working. Then, get sick, was that, did I get sick? Yeah, I did, I got sick before the Arnold. But, you know, this past four weeks or so, there were times where, you know, I was just focused on getting in my training, getting my workouts in, eating what I felt my body needed, and kind of just giving myself a break. In my head, I wasn't thinking, oh, this is gonna work. This is what's gonna make me lean out. I was just saying, give yourself a freaking break, Kelly. You have spent all of your life being insecure, being hard on yourself. What's gonna happen if you don't reach your goal in two weeks? Is the whole world gonna hate you? I mean, no, chill out. Trying to be a little bit more like, reasonable with myself. Some of you are like, I knew that six years ago. But the past four weeks with this more just listening to my body, eating like a little bit more of a normal person, not being so psychotic, a little bit more along the lines of if it fits, if it fits your macros, um, I kept catching myself in the mirror going, really? Like I told you when I, I'll put my workout clothes on and I head for the gym and then this is how I can tell if I'm starting to see results. You know, all of my weight that is the most stubborn weight for me to lose is around my core. It's very easy for me to, you know, start losing the weight on my arms. Um, you, it's very easy for me to see it in my face. If you look at my older videos, you can see, you know, like I, I look more fleshy in the face. You can tell when I was heavier. But right now, my legs are leaning out, even starting to get up towards uh, my upper thighs and whatever. I feel very good. I mean, in fact, I had said to Courtney the other day, I feel really good about my butt. Um, in fact, I really want to build my glutes now because there's part of me that's like, oh, they're getting a little small. Not that I'll ever have a small butt, but it's smaller. So all of my primary focus on where I need to lose the fat. When I stand in the mirror and I use a, a, a thing to look at my rear view, the areas where I can see the most difference is underneath the bra line, that and, and my waist. It's just, and I, I think I posted, if you look up on um, Instagram, one of my favorite girls to follow right now is Californi, and you spell it K-A-L-I-F, as in Frank, O-R-N-D-E-E. -E. She posted a before and after picture that it took her six months, but the way she had, she gained weight in her before picture, just the way where it's really in the middle and her middle just kind of got thicker and then as she lost weight, it was more. That's the way in my perimenopause life that I have gained weight is on that core. And that's where I can start to see myself losing 
And that's what has been surprising is that, again, this past four weeks, when I felt like I wasn't as psycho focused, I, I, I always say to myself, you know, I'm, I'm giving myself positive mental feedback, right? So I get ready to look in, in the um, rear view thing and I always say, I don't care how dorky you think it sounds, I'll say, I'm going to see um, bigger and better results than I've ever seen before, you know, instead of what I used to do, which is I'm sure this is going to look disgusting, you know, so I look and I stand up straight and again, I was very surprised that the, I just kept finding myself passing by a mirror, not focusing on looking or checking myself, but I go, wait, wait, or I put my workout clothes on, I could feel how they slid over my body, that they were fitting better. Then I'd go look in the mirror and go, oh my God, I'm... I'm actually leaning out here. Again, it's not going. I still have goals to do, but it's happening when I was the least focused, when I was the more easy on myself, more just chilled out and like going, hey, if I'm out and about and I feel the need and my body's craving beef and needing beef and I go get a burger and I eat the burger with the bun, with ketchup and mustard on, I'm not gonna freak out about it. That's what I'm eating, you know? So it's gonna be interesting. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like every day I'm gonna be having burgers and Pop-Tarts and focusing on junk food. But instead of going, oh, I'm only gonna have, you know, a piece of chicken and green beans or a piece of protein in this, I'm gonna have salads. I'm gonna have protein pancakes again with some of this cool new stuff I'm getting on that iHerb thing. Do you say iHerb or iHerb? iHerb or iHerb, sounds weird. I got some of that Walden Farms, uh, calorie-free uh, pancake syrup. I want to start making some of these monk cakes. Giving myself variety, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just realized that since I've rambled on about this, um, I don't. I haven't even gotten to my uh, DVD topic, which I'm going to get to in two seconds, but I actually also really need to make myself breakfast. So, um, what song is this? Oh, Chicago Bulls theme song. Um, so anyway, I, I want to encourage you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this and saying, you know, oh, it makes me feel better that you're, you know, eating more, essentially, not being on some crazy diet and you're seeing results. One of the things I'm a little bit tempted to experiment with is, you know, going, doing what I'm doing, but then seeing what it's like with all my supplements and without supplements. Um, certainly, I know that supplements aren't the things that work on their own. I'm talking about like adding a fat burner, you know, taking your, your CLA and your vitamin E, B, C and all of that that I had mapped out for me by Courtney, I'm tempted to go like balls to the wall, eating right at it, and then maybe later later down the road, see what it's like to not take it. Um, part of me is like a firm believer in that. Part of me is like, hmm, maybe I should ask and get an expert. I think I'll do that. Um, but anyway, I will shoot another video about the workout side of things in a second, but this is where I'm gonna zip it for right now and I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay?